We have come to a phase of our yearly turn when the summer has given up and autumn has taken the space. Here in the north, the autumn is a time of colorful leaves, first frost, and animals finding winter shelter or moving south. For us, it is also a time for harvesting our summer crops. Hello, my name is Sanna Vara. I live in the far north of Finland on an old farmhouse in a small countryside village of 25 people. I create photographs, videos and music inspired by this wild Nordic nature I get to live surrounded with. In this video we are harvesting our crops from our garden. This was the first year and first summer in our new house and garden, so everything we did was just guessing and testing things out. After this year, we are so much more wiser and know more of gardening and what works in our own fields and yard. But to be honest, at the same time I am surprised that we did get food from our yard and can even leave some of them to be preserved for winter. That feels like a superpower, and I really, really want to enhance that skill and be able to preserve more food in the future. Living far away, it is essential to have some food in the storage in case of winter storms or long power cuts. Also sometimes our nearest shops aren't able to sell vegetables, fruits or berries in winter time, so having those in our own storage is very important. This year our garden grew mostly potatoes, carrots, kale, onions and different kinds of salads which we already ate in the summertime. But the rest? We harvested one beautiful autumn day and stored them in the stairs of our attic because the air is cold enough there for the food to stay good but it doesn't freeze. It is hard to store food anywhere during winter time since everything freezes and is filled up with snow and in the house it is too warm. We do have an old cellar behind our sauna building, but it needs massive repairing. So, maybe next summer then. We are planning to make our garden bigger next year, and the base work has to be done this autumn already. Our neighbor came to help with a tractor, since it would take us so much time to work only with shovels. This small community and the help of others is absolutely one of my favorite things here in the north. My boyfriend and my sister surprised me with a birthday present. It's not my birthday yet, it's in October, now is the 1st of September, but they bought me two apple trees. <laughs> it's amazing and they had to be bought now because we cannot plant them in October because it's gonna be snow then. So now we're gonna get these and plant them in our yard. Yeah. If I wrote you a song, if I got 
Remember to put the plug in a boat or you have to row really fast. So I'm not a good rower, so let's put the plug. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Come along. So I've gone fishing. <laughs> I came to the lake to, took this, to take this fish bait and put it in the water because now when the autumn comes and the waters get cooler there's gonna be a lot of fish in the lake, in our home lake so, so it will be lovely to get fresh free food just from our backyard so I'm gonna put the bait in the water and hope for the best but it's a beautiful evening. I mean, the the air is so fresh. It's yeah, I feel like it's cleaning my lungs. It is so fresh, and I'm again talking very quietly because I was also taught as a child not to yell when I'm in the lake because it is so silent and you don't want to break that, so... <laughs> Beautiful evening. Wow. Absolutely. 
Gardening and self-sufficiency are things that interest me a lot. It is fascinating to think how people lived here in our house just a half century ago, totally dependent on this land. It produced everything that was needed for food, for animals, for clothes and other household products. We have come a long way since then and it is not my plan to go back in history. But I think I can learn from it and take the best parts and bring them to our modern time. Maybe also by doing so, I am consuming less and not taking nature and its gifts for granted. <laughs>